Good morning guys, I'm sorry it's not a pretty sight, um, but today is wash day on the old curls. It's been a while since I've done an updated video, I'm no pro, but I have had a few requests to do another one. My hair is now shoulder length. So yeah, I thought why not? I still am using the majority of Cantu products, so I'm going to jump in the shower in a mo, and I'm going to wash my hair with the Complete Conditioning Co-Wash. I still don't shampoo, I still follow the Curly Girl method. And then I'm gonna go in with the sulfate free hydrating cream conditioner and sorry, awkward angle. I am going in with a Denman brush in the shower on soaking wet hair just to make sure I distribute the conditioner properly. As you can see guys, my hair has grown so, so much since I've done the last video. It is really frizzy at the moment because it's wash day, but when it's straight, not that I really wear it straight, it is kind of right down here. Um, yeah, obviously I can't take my phone in the shower. But you know the drill guys, wash your hair, apply the conditioner, keep obviously the conditioner away from the root if you want volume, finger rake it through your hair or use a Denman brush um, on soaking wet hair. Obviously don't ever use it dry, it will damage your curls. And I'll see you, yeah, and I'll see you when I come to apply the products. Please excuse the makeup less face. Yes, I have got a, uh, a massive spot on my chin, but hey ho, that's life. It's not all glitz and glams. But yeah, I'll see you when I um, apply all the products. Okay, lovers, you can see that I am now out of the shower resembling a drowned rat. Um, but you can just see how much my hair has grown since that last video. Um, what I should have said as well is have a t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt handy, because that's going to take the extra moisture out. Yeah, and also using a cotton t-shirt is going to minimise frizz. You don't want to be um, moving your curls all over the place, um, using your hands, because it just creates frizz. It doesn't give you definition, so always have a cotton t-shirt handy. Going back to the Denman brush, I've only recently introduced this into my routine. I've never used a brush during my curly girl method at all and obviously I only use it on wet hair but it comes with nine rows and you can see that I've took four of those rows out so it's actually left five rows in there and I just find it distributes um, my conditioner lovely um, by taking out the rows and it gives it bigger clumps which is what you want you want those nice clumps instead of stringy curls. Hi lovelies I'm back now I thought I wouldn't stay you any longer and I have put a bit of makeup on um, but yeah, out of the shower, I've raked my product through in the shower with my fingers um, using the Cantu conditioner and obviously I used the dermal brush to distribute it. So now I'm going to move on to products. The first product I'm going to go in with is the Curl Cantu um, Cream Activator. It's really moisturising. Now I do need quite a lot of product in my hair to form the curls. So this is the amount I'm going to start with and I'm just going to warm it up between my palms. And first of all, I'm going to do the praying hands method and literally kind of drag it through my curls all over my head. You can see it's going to leave a white residue. Yeah, it's going to leave like a white residue, but that's absolutely fine because at some point we will be scrunching it all in. And by doing this with your curls, you're eliminating frizz. I don't like raking through because I find it breaks the clumps up. Once I've applied that, I am going to go back in with my Denman brush and just brush through my hair make sure all that product has been distributed nicely. The last thing you want to do is leave dry patches at the back. I am doing this on soaking wet hair. If I think my curls are going a bit stringy at any point, I've just got my trusty water spray and I'll just spray it down again. You want your hair absolutely pretty much soaking wet, not dripping, but very wet. So now that that's been distributed, I then go in with the Cantu Shine and Define Custard, which is like a gel. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, and I do take a really good handful. And again, between the palms, and the same method as before, praying hands all the way through the hair. I don't really apply much product to the root because that will um, not give me as much volume. And again, just putting it through the hair. And then with any left over, I'll just glaze it. Glaze it, that's what I'm going with, over the tops of my hair and kind of underneath. So you should have it nicely coated with product. Again, going in with a Derman brush to make sure it's all evenly distributed. And you can also create your part at this point. Now, I didn't really have a part when I had shorter hair. I just used to diffuse Yeah, I just used to diffuse it upside down and then flick it back and it kind of just fell anywhere. As it's got longer, I do need to kind of create that part a bit more or I get crazy dry wild patches at the back. So make sure it's all even. 
So now I've done that, I'm gonna absolutely soak my hair. I know you think it's wet as it is, but it's not. So I'm really gonna sort of spray it down now. Make sure it's pretty much as soaking as you can get without being dripping. Yeah, keep going. And you can see, see how it's starting to clump together rather than loads of strands. That's what you want, that's how you're gonna get that definition um, without frizz. Keep going. Now I'm going in with an old cotton t-shirt and I'm just putting my head to the side and I'm gathering my curls, I'm letting them fall into the cotton t-shirt and I'm gonna scrunch them up to my scalp and give them a bit of a squeeze. And you can see how it's starting to create those spirals, those clumps, that's what you want, yes! And again on the other side, we kind of give it a pulsating motion and you should hear a squirt. Yeah, and just continue to do that all around the head. Obviously make sure you do the back as well, God, this is such an attractive view. Give it a squeeze. Take that excess water out. No hands have been used for this part of uh, my routine. And then I like to go in with a tiny bit more gel because I just feel sometimes when you scrunch out that excess water in the towel, sorry, not towel, ah, uh, in the cotton t-shirt, it can take some of the product out. So again, just the praying hands method all over the curls again. Then I'm going to get another old cotton t-shirt and I'm kind of just going to gently move my head and give it a shake over to the side. And again, do the same thing, cut them and squeeze them gently. And again, to the other side, I've had to stand up now because my knees are hurting. Um, and again, gather them and just scrunch gently using the towel. I find this, not towel, why do I keep saying towel? That's like swearing, t-shirt. Yeah, guys, note to self, never use a towel with curly hair. It's the worst thing you could ever use, so I don't know why I keep saying it. But yeah, and you can see these lovely thick clumps starting to form. And basically I'll do that all around my head and then diffuse. So yeah, I look mega crazy at the moment. Um, and it doesn't really look that curly at all, but once I diffuse, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I just haven't got the facilities to do it on camera and I'll tune back in once I'm done. What I should have also said um, I like to do is I do like to clip some of these in at the root when I diffuse, they're little crocodile clips, um, and it gives you the volume at the root. And I literally just pull up a section of hair and clip it in like so. And I also do it on the other side, pull up a section of hair. Obviously try not to, um, disturb the curl and I'll clip it in like so and it does give you that volume without the frizz. Happy days. So there we go lovelies, I've put in a few clips at the root just to keep um, the volume um, and now I'll diffuse side to side, upside down to about 80% dry, let it dry um, naturally the rest of the way and then that meant to say I'll scrunch out the crunch but I'll come back on camera to do that um, and uh, show you my results so um, yeah. Hope you're enjoying it so far. As you can see, lovelies, I'm around 80% dry, and you can see the definition just there. Um, as I said, I've diffused side to side and upside down. That is what creates the volume. I've now took the clips out and I'm gonna let it, yeah, I'm gonna let it air dry the rest of the way because I just find that minimizes frizz. And then once it's all completely dry, which is probably gonna be a while, so bear with me, um, I'll come on camera and show you how I scrunch out that gel cast. Right then, I'm gonna go and air dry the rest of the way, do some cleaning, probably have something to eat, and then when I'm all set, ready to scrunch out the crunch, so I haven't got that aces look, I'll come back and show you on camera. So when you come to scrunch out the crunch, some people like to use a little bit of oil. I used to, but I just find that I just don't anymore. Um, it can make my hair a bit too greasy. Some people also like to use a another um, T-shirt. I just like to use my hands. So again, I just cut my curls and I literally just scrunch them up to my scalp. I might give them that pulsating motion again just to get rid of any crispy gel in there. And I continue doing this all around my hair. Make sure, it, make sure that I'm getting really underneath. You can see that definition there. I flip it like a mad lady and do it on the other side. Just release And then it. you should be back where you started. Then I do like to get my hands and just go in at the root give it a little shake whatever you do don't rake through those curls otherwise you're just going to end up with frizz and zero definition yeah we're almost done so i'm just going to keep scrunching they you have seen this now aren't you but basically it's a whole lot of scrunching oh i just got more wet as well oh wow 
and voila, we are pretty much done. And as you can see, it's left my curls super, super glossy with loads of definition, quite a lot of volume, lush. Shrinkage is totally real as well, guys. You think when it was wet, it was right down here. And obviously it's just completely sprung up. And I did actually have it cut the other day as well. You may have seen it on my um, Instagram. Yeah, and you can see I've got full on ringlets as well. Um, I do play around with the part sometimes. Sometimes I wear it this way, sometimes I wear it the other way. It just depends where it falls. And um, yeah, we're pretty much done. I hope that you enjoyed the video and the tutorial and I hope that does answer some of your questions. Head across to my page to see where you can buy the Cantu products and um, as I said I'll put it on my highlights as well. See you all later.